Thank you. Thank you. Okay. No, I, uh, I'm going to be nice to Star Wars this time. So this is uh, a five-minute commercial for the documentation. And uh, we're going to rock around the docks with uh, me, your uh, chief editor and bottle washer. And these are your Angular I.O. documents. Just click that Get Started. Five minutes, if you don't read anything, and you're going. You may want to try the tutorial, which takes you step by step through a sample application, all the major features you need. You want to learn the basics. There are just eight little chapters there. And then you dive in deeper into the developer's guide and learn some more concepts. But if you want to just answer a question or something, maybe there's a recipe in the cookbook. Want to know about uh, the methods and the internal documentation? Click that API preview, search for it in that filter. Forgot how to do something? Maybe it's on the cheat sheet. Don't know what a word means? There's just a few words in the vocabulary. Hey, check out the glossary. You may find something there. Now we've just added the style guide, which shows you how to write a, an application that's clean and like everybody else. It's got do's, it's got don'ts, it's got maybes, and it's got things to avoid in big red. So don't do those things. So, if we uh, look at one of the chapters and we scroll up a little bit, you're going to find plenty of code snippets. You look in there, you click that little box, it appears in your clipboard, you go paste it into something and you're good to go. Not sure about that? You want to see the whole sample? Well, you click that live link, you're right into a plunker, and then you can go up there. You can actually download the files from a plunker, put it in there locally. Maybe you found uh, something wrong in app components. Go in there and say WTF. Uh, you know, f create another bug, save it, because it's not real until you save it. Take that link, mail it into the issues or mail it to a friend, and there you go. But what about the actual code driving this documentation? It's there, clone the repo, drill down public docs, examples, open up there, and there are all the chapters and the samples behind that. They're divided by the language that they're implemented in. There's TypeScript. We can open that in a command prompt, npm start, and it compiles, and up comes a server, and there's the actual application that's driving the code you see in the documentation. You can kill that, and you can fire up your favorite uh, code editor and uh, go in there and see the code as it's actually written with all the markup that drives the documentation. Now, you're saying, what good is this stuff? I mean, how many times have I been in documentation and I can't trust the code that's in the documentation? You can trust this code because every time we update Angular, we're running that sample code, we're running end-to-end -end tests, just like the ones you see here. So we know that the code that, that when you get that fresh version of Angular, the code that you see in the documentation is backed by end-to-end -end tests. And also you can see the end-to-end -end tests so you can learn how to do it. Who did it? No one person did it. It takes a village to do this. Wonderful people, uh, all of them contributing of their time, and uh, some of them you know, some of them you may not know, but you'll want to get to know. And I'm hoping that you will help me with about 20 seconds here of applause for these fine people who are giving you the documentation. Please. <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> these are great people. Wonderful people, three, two, one, zero. Thank you very much. Thank you, authors. But there's another important player in this, very important player in all of this, and that person is you, because you can contribute too. There's the easy ways to contribute. The easiest is going to GitHub, you see something you don't like, find the chapter, go in there, hit that little pencil, and start editing. We hate the word the. We think that the the in here is so boring, we're going to change it to the funky fresh. That's a really important change. Submit that one in here. Let's just go make a commit. And uh, you know we, got, we fixed it, create a PER, make sure it's in another branch, create the pull request, ta-da, and somebody will give it all the attention it deserves. 
Got an idea for a cookbook? That's great. We want them. Go into the issues, create something that says uh, cookbook idea, put your idea in there. We look forward to seeing them and we'll get back to you to see how we can uh, take your idea forward and help you get it into the guide. So what can you do again? Answer Stack Overflow questions, fix typos, fix bugs in the code if you can find one and you can't. Uh, define a term in the glossary, add a link to the, cook, uh, to the API guide to get the cookbook. Whatever you do, let's make Angular great again. <laughs> Thank you.